This presentation is brought to you by Brain Court Therapy. Some people suffer from chronic pain disorders that are treated with injections of drugs directly at the source of their pain. These are known as trigger point injections. Typically, they're injected into a muscle area that's knotted up and won't release in the hopes of getting that muscle to relax and relieve the patient's pain. For people suffering from certain chronic pain disorders such as myofascial pain syndrome or fibromyalgia, one of the more common treatment options comes in the form of trigger point injections. They can be effective for many people, but also come with a host of unpleasant side effects. For instance, they can damage the nerves around the injection site, which can cause referred pain. This is pain felt elsewhere in the body. Sometimes they cause even more pain, usually localized in the area near the injection site. There are also some drug specific side effects as well. Steroid injections sometimes leave permanent marks on the skin and there are risks involved anytime injections are involved, including bleeding or an infection. There are also risks of tissue damage or tissue shrinkage. Trigger point injections can be extraordinarily beneficial to people who are suffering from isolated cases of myofascial pain because they only need to be administered once or twice to take effect. But for those with chronic pain syndromes, trigger point injections sometimes becomes normal parts of their lives, along with the side effect of drugs like lidocaine, corticosteroids, and various anesthetics and the increased risk of disfigurement or potential health complications. There are alternatives to trigger point injections, though every patient responds to different treatments in unique ways. Some of these alternatives include antidepressants, steroid tablets, heat therapy, massage, and transcutaneous electrical nerve stimulation, also known as TENS. Sometimes patients suffering from chronic pain disorders find relief through a regimen of antidepressant drugs like SSRIs, SNRIs, and tricyclic and tetracyclic antidepressants. For some folks who need steroids to control their pain, an oral administration can be just as effective as trigger point injections. Heat is well known as a therapy for muscular pain. And some people with myofascial pain syndrome and fibromyalgia find great relief in seeking heat therapy on a regular basis. Depending on the kind of muscle pain, a masseuse may be able to either coax a tight knotted muscle into relaxing or help relax the muscles around the localized pain area, creating some space for the knot to relax and stretch out on its own. Transcutaneous electrical nerve stimulation is a machine that uses electrical currents to stimulate the nerves. While there are many pieces of anecdotal evidence that suggest it's a good alternative to trigger point injections, the medical community has achieved no scientific consensus regarding its effectiveness. For more information or to schedule a consultation, please visit our website at www.braincourttherapy.com.